Hello everyone, welcome to Electrics Lab. This is the second video in the STM32 video series. Today, I'm going to talk about STM32 PWM normal mode and DMA mode. First, let's get a brief idea about PWM and its related concepts. PWM is a technique used to control the average voltage supply to a load by varying the duty cycle of a square wave signal. In normal mode, the CPU sets the duty cycle using the Capture Compare Register CCR. This method is simple but can be slow for quick changes, so it's best for tasks where real-time control isn't very important. DMA mode, however, allows for efficient updates without needing the CPU. This is great for high-frequency tasks, providing precise timing needed for sensitive devices. What is duty cycle? The duty cycle represents the ratio of the on-time to the total time period of the signal. By adjusting the duty cycle, we can effectively control the power delivered to the load. In STM32, these three equations help to calculate the frequency and duty cycle of the PWM signal. I will talk more about these later. Let's create a project for normal mode. Here, I am using the STM32F103CBT6MCU. First, let's initialize the clock. Serial wire debug. I am using an 8 MHz crystal on the development board. Next, Let's configure the PWM signal. Choose the clock source as the internal clock. In this MCU, timer 1 has 4 channels. Since I need only one signal, I will choose channel 1 for PWM generation. In this project, I will use the maximum clock frequency of 72 MHz. Since we are using the timer to generate the PWM signal, we should consider the timer clock, not the peripheral clock. According to the data sheet, timer 1 is connected to APB2, so the APB2 timer clock is equal to 72 MHz. Since I need to generate a 10 kHz frequency PWM signal, I chose the prescaler as 72 and the auto reload register ARR, value as 100. However, always input a value 1 less than the actual value, because it counts from 0. Input the ARR value the same way. Save the project. Here, I am creating a code, continuously changing duty cycle of 0, 50 and 100 every second.
Let's upload the code. The multimeter shows RMS values of the PWM signal as 0, 1.53 and 3.06 for duty cycles of 0, 50 and 100 respectively. It's working properly. Let's move on to the DMA mode. Set up the basic configuration the same as before. Here we need additional setup on DMA. Select DMA request, timer 1 channel 1. Direction, memory to peripheral. Set the capture compare register value 50. Let's upload the code. Change the CCR value to 20. Change the CCR value to 90. It's working properly. Let's check the frequency. It's 10 kHz, which is correct. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon, stay tuned for more exciting and informative videos on STM32.